All right, guys, let's do a message for my Aquarius out there. I have a very specific message for whoever this is for. Someone, you or another, for this one, it's the most loving one I've gotten so far, is uh, like about to express their love to you if they haven't done it at this point already. I mean, making it very clear in no uncertain terms. Let me write that down. <laughs> in no uncertain terms. In my hair, I'm like sitting on it, my hair's so long. In no <clears throat> uncertain terms. I love you. I love you. You're everything. You're the one for me. I know that you're the one. Someone is sure of it. Couldn't be any more sure. I have chills. And let me tell you something. I think someone's been knowing. They've been knowing, but they just got the clarity of a lifetime, boo boo. <laughs> or you did, someone did, or will. They will get it. Eventually they'll get it. They'll see it. They'll read it. They'll understand it. They'll pick up what you're putting down. Like you're going to make it real clear. Or someone's going to, it could be you confessing your love like if this don't show you I'm in love with you then I don't know what will if this don't prove it to you that you're the one for me I mean this could be something huge I'm like this is huge this is huge whatever this is you or another are going to be proving it if I didn't love you and I didn't know that you're the one for me that you are my person I can tell you right now there's no way in hell. I mean, this isn't even about words. It's more so what someone's about to do, what someone's about to prove. This will be proven. I will prove to you that I love you with what I'm doing. Now, what does that mean? Well, for everybody, that's going to mean something different. To some person, you will know someone loves you because they're willing to put, not, not only willing, but they put a ring on it. They put a nice ring on it, something they worked really hard for. Some of you, it's that they put a ring on it, period maybe something they made to you that's like no they wouldn't have done that you know if that's all they had and all they had was wood and they made it out of wood they wouldn't have done that if they didn't love me you see it's different people are going to take it differently um some of you it, it's that this person's willing to tell their whole family go against their whole family for you and say you know what you don't support our love you don't support our relationship or i don't want to hide this should tell you maybe someone's willing to end a relationship or a connection with someone whether they're already in one or that it's like a friendship and maybe the friend is kind of causing problems between you and them and this person's done wrote them off and told them and maybe this is someone who would never really be known to do something like that but to make you comfortable or to show you to prove to you that they're serious they're going to do it let's say someone goes straight up to your mom and dad I mean you know they might just go straight up to your mom and dad and be like hey uh, I'm in love with your daughter I'm in love with your daughter. I'm in love with your son. I can't stop thinking about them and I want to be with them. I, I want to be with them. Like maybe someone reaches out to your family and that's going to prove to you because like who would do that? Someone with balls. Someone with balls, I tell you, <laughs> because they, they want to be with you. I mean, no bars. I'm hearing something about no bars. No, what does that mean? No bars. I feel like that's like a slang. It's a saying, but I don't know what it means. And I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, let's say someone here is willing to move, outright move for you, or they put you in their will. Maybe you don't find out someone really loves you, that you were the love of their life, or maybe it's not romantic, but I think it definitely is. Let's say it's not romantic and it's just supportive. Like, let me tell you how much I love you. This, let me show you. I'm not even gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you how much I love you. I'm gonna leave it all to you. I'm gonna leave every bit of it to you. Like, what? But you won't know that till it's over, till it's all said and done. And then you're like, wow, this person must really love me. And I'm going to leave everything to you and your children. I'm going to leave everything to you and your kid, your, your children, or you, period. Just because this is how much, like, I know you're my person. I'm going to, I'm going to, or it could just be someone who's bearing it all, bearing the weight of the world. They are letting it all out. They are telling you. Because at this point, it's become where it's like a real heavy you know, it's a burden. Let's say someone's just sad here, feeling a little languid, feeling a little lackluster, feeling a little sad lately. Just been going through it, going through the ringer, really going through a lot. Oh boy, this ain't this the truth. You guys might come through or someone's going to come through for you if you're the one feeling languid and be like, you know what? I'm here. Da -da -da. Like actually like a knight in shining, shining armor, man or woman. And I'm going to show you how much I support you and love you. And I just want to lift you up a little bit. Yeah. 
someone is going to lift another person up here emotionally by showing them they love and support them a friend a stranger family member a lover an ex-lover potential lover a crush or uh all outright just prove that they're in love with somebody like or confess someone's going to confess or um something like that like i'm gonna show you i love you i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show that not only you i'm gonna prove it to the world that i <laughs> that i love you well hopefully it's returned you know because that would be it might make you uncomfortable but i don't know it might be returned maybe you'll like it you may feel like something's out of left field left field filled left left field it's trying to tell me something there left field left field i feel like it's a confession I feel like if it's not a confession or an all out right, I'm going to do something amazing for you because I want to make you happy. I want to make you happy or I want to get it clear to you. I want to make it clear that I love you. I'm just going to pour it all out there. I'm going to pour it all out there and you do with, with it what you will. With what you will. With some white work. <laughs> and, um, or, oh my God. See, I should say everything when it pops in my head because then I forget about it. And I'm thinking. And I can't remember what the fuck I was about to say. Damn. I don't know. I really hate when that happens. This is just, I know what'll do it. I know what will, I, I know what I need to do. I know. And I need to tell them how much I feel, what I feel for them. Or if it's just supportive, like a supportive thing, I know what will lift them up. I know what'll make them feel better. I know how I can help. It's something like that. This is very knight in shining armor and it's genuine. This is you being genuine, woman or man, or someone being genuine with you. And it's, I don't know, how are you gonna receive it? How's this going to be received? It feels sweet. It feels like you're gonna be like, aw. Feels like it's going to be very nice and someone's going to feel very special. So if someone's doing all this for you, whether romantic, or uh, confessing something to you and it's romantic or helping you in some way and it's not romantic, I don't know. Keep telling you they really admire you and love you and it's not romantic, either way. You got both here, both scenarios possibly. It's going to make you feel very special or you yourself are about to make an individual feel very special by what you do. The actions are what's going to speak loudly here. Not so much what someone says, but the fact that they are proving it. You want me to prove it, huh? It's almost like this is definitely an individual who no one should ever call their fucking bluff. <laughs> ever. No, no one should ever call their bluff. Even you. And a lot of you, I think it's you. Actually, I feel like it's reverse. I feel like someone should never call your bluff because you fucking say what you mean and you mean what you say. <laughs> If you say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. If you say, if you say you love somebody, you mean it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, until you don't anymore. And then you also mean that. Now, some of you, let's change this up a little bit. Some of you could have just provided some type of clarity for a person. Maybe, maybe you meant to, maybe you don't even know. Maybe it was indirectly. You said something and it, and it just was like, that's it. That's it. It was, it was the key. It was the very key that someone needed to crack them wide the fuck open like what it'd be like you know how you need help with something but you don't quite know what it is yet and then somebody comes in and they just don't even really mean to they're just kind of saying something and they don't understand how profound it is what they just said is exactly the information you needed or the the advice you needed or the helpful tips and tricks or hints that you needed something like that it was the missing fucking piece it's exactly what you needed it's like that's it yes Thank you. You know, I see somebody like kissing someone on the forehead or kissing someone on the cheeks. Like, yes, that's exactly it. You know, unless you're just hitting the nail on the head with something and it's like, yes, yes. Okay. And that's because of that, it's, it establishes some sort of, all right, that's it. That's what I needed to know. That's all I needed to know. Now we're jiving. Now we're going, <laughs> now we're on track here. Now, in some cases, I guess there could be something that could be possibly being reconstructed. 
you know, in some cases, yeah. But it would be something that brings great joy and I don't know happiness like if someone is on the market now or is single or is ready or you know they this could maybe not always go well with you know the whole divorce process or whatever they're having to go through but um, it will be very happy for them in the end because now they can be happy and now they don't have to fight all the time or whatever reason it doesn't work out and then they can go be where they want to be what I want to be there's a song but I can't I don't know what it is it's coming to me but I don't want to look it up something about I can be what I want to be yeah so it is safe to say what someone does more so but maybe even what someone says is going to brighten the fuck out of someone's day or just provide clarity genuine clarity or like uh, some sort of missing piece to the puzzle or like I used to hate this alarm, but now I'm getting aware. I don't mind it. Mm -mm. Don't mind it one bit. Mm -mm. Nope. I had to take a break for a second, but I'm just going to tell you what just happened. So, um, I sat here for a minute. Like, I got actually really distracted, and I started humming. So, I was just humming to myself. So, you hum a lot, or you sing to yourself. Yeah, yeah. You also have very beautiful energy. Can I just tell you that right now? I just want to tell you that I'm actually kind of like really falling in love with you. Like I'm really falling in love with your energy, man or woman, whoever you are. I love your energy, even in your moments. Like I just really like you. I think you're likable. Like you're likable, even if you don't think you're likable. <laughs> you may be like, no, I'm not. I have a side. I mean, aren't we all? Aren't we all little assholes sometimes? But for the most part, I love your personality. I love, uh, I've already told you guys this before. You don't have to be an Aquarius, but I love your personality. Anyway, so as I was sitting here humming to myself like crazy, <laughs> I, I received a message from, well, I won't say from who, but um, um, There could be something here where actually you will, most of you I feel it's romantic, okay? Someone's going to be confessing their feelings here and they're not just with their mouth, they're gonna prove it. They're gonna show it, literally. Or you will come through for someone here in the near future unless this has already happened or it could be happening now, it could be happening again or for the first time in the near future. Where either something happens, you find out some sort of information, you're given information, you receive a message, a phone call, text, whatever, and it can be something that's really rough that someone on the outside of you is going through and you are going to be there for that person. I don't know if you're physically going to be able to be there for whatever reason. I don't know why, but you are going to be there to help at your service is what I hear. You will be there to help this person. You're going to do something, right? Unless this is reversed, someone's going to do this for you. But I feel like it's not you. I don't know why I don't feel like it's you that's going through it, but it very well could be. Um, or maybe your family, and so you tell somebody something's going on with your family and then someone's gonna be there for you. I'm telling you right now, this is love and support and care and nurturing. This is genuine, I've got your back, I'm not going anywhere. This is fucking loyalty, if you ask me. This is loyalty. This is true love, this is true friendship, this is true because love does love is love does and you know it doesn't have to be your inner relationship it doesn't have to be no love does it's it shows it even if it's indirectly 
sometimes we can think people don't love us and they're praying for us the whole time or they're sending us positive energy the whole time. There was a long time that I didn't think that my parents loved me. I mean, I had my reasons, you know. But, um, like, my second set of parents, I thought they didn't love me. I mean, I went through a lot. I went through a whole lot. I, you know, I, I feel like when you, when you adopt children, um, this is probably why they make them go through classes and home visits and stuff like that. Because this, these children will go through something very, well, they're going to go through a lot of some things. It's difficult. It's a lot. And um, there's, a, there's just a lot. I can't even talk about it all in this video because this is not what the video is about. But I'll tell you this. Um, as I got older, and thank God I'm able to, because I, I, I'm surprised I'm still alive, all the shit I've done to myself. You could even have someone here who's been really self-destructive, and it's like, no wonder this person is actually in good health, for the most part. I mean, they're still here, still here, still fighting, still carrying on, you know? Carry on my way, what's on? I came out of nowhere. But... You know, and so I, I thought they didn't give a shit about me. I thought they really didn't care about me. But they actually, the whole time, especially my mama. But my dad, too, of course. But my mom. She's fought for me the whole time. She's pulled for me. My mom is very supportive. My mom loves me. My mom, uh, we've been through a lot. We've been through a fucking lot. And um, we haven't always been close. But we're very, very fucking close now. And I would take a bullet for that bitch. And uh, trust and believe. <laughs> I just say all that to say. Sometimes we can think people don't care about us because they don't show up for us. They don't show up for us the way that we would like them to, but but they still show up for us. And maybe we don't know, but the universe or God, the Creator, whoever you believe in, they know. They hear things we don't hear. They see things we don't see. And. Uh, So, um, you have a heart for someone or someone has a heart for you and it's going to show, emphasis on the heart, it is going to show for the love and support and selflessness. Um, the, I feel two clear scenarios, romance, like a mofo, real love come together and, um, real true friendship, real true support, like real true friendship. I know that people think it's all over the world, but it's actually not. It's actually kind of rare. It's rare. There's a lot of counterfeits out there, counterfeit friends, counterfeit lovers, but real true friendship is rare and you are a real true fucking friend or a real true lover or you're about to sh uh, see or be shown that someone is this to you by how they pull through for you, vice versa, during probably a difficult situation. Yeah. And it will make someone feel very special and touch their heart. So yeah. Thank you guys for being here with me and I'll talk to you.